Was there any online? Okay. Um, there are various settings that you can access. To get to the settings, you tap on the center icon with the three lines. The dot indicates you have a new notification. The first time you access the, setting men the, the settings menu, when you first download it, you'll be prompted to manage your notification settings for your particular device. If um, on Apple devices, you will be asked if you want to allow notifications. Those people that have Apple devices might be familiar with that. And on Android devices, uh, notifications from your phone are enabled by default. And if you want to know how to turn those off, you can just ask us at the end and we can let you know. But that what that does, if the, if the notifications are on on your phone, when your loan is ready, it'll pop up on your lock screen um, that your item is ready. This particular book title is ready to download or ready to borrow. Uh, your recent activity has the books borrowed and returned, notifications about requested items being available, and when items are close to their due date, uh, they'll, they'll appear on that top bar. If you have more than one person in your household that has a library card, you can add multiple cards by tapping on that plus sign where it says one card and there's a plus sign. You can give each card a nickname so you can easily tell who it belongs to. If there are multiple cards on your device, when you check out an item or place a hold, you'll get an option for which card you would like to use. So instead of just having the one card, you'll see both cards with the different people's names on it. If you belong to more than one library system, this is what you're asking before, um, to add another library, you just click on add library and that same beginning screen will pop up. You'll search for the location or the library name and you can add the card in the same way. And then, no, to, to, this is the same screen where you would switch to the other system. Um, so depending on which one you want to search, right now it says your libraries and it says Upper Hudson Library System. If you were if you were added the New York, it would say New York Public Library underneath that one, and you would tap in this same screen. You would tap on either Upper Hudson or um, or New York Public Library or whatever Brooklyn that you happen to have. And you can tell when you, are you in another library system? Our cards look like that. They're sort of blue and um, like gold. The, um, I believe the New York Public Library, I know the Brooklyn one is um, dark blue. So the little icons look different. It's the easiest way to tell when you're like searching for it, which system you're in, is to look at the color of the little cards that are next to the items. And that's, that's the same spot where you'd switch between systems. If you are having trouble with the app, there are some common solutions you can find by tapping the get some help button. If you tap on the settings, you can access some more accessibility features. So there's um, several choices. You can reduce the color variation, reduce the text variation. Um, if you need to get to those settings, those are right in there. If you would like to switch your preferred device from a Libby to a Kindle or vice versa, uh, you can do that by tapping read books with and uh, choosing I have no preference will allow you, they'll ask you every time. So you'll always see the read with when there's a Kindle version and a, 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 an, over, an EPUB version. And you can choose, this is where you can choose which type of notifications you would like to get from the app. Um, you can tap the checkbox next to what you prefer for each type of notification. Um, they'll send you one. Uh, if you can't see the text, the, the far right, it says notification, then it has the menu. Notification means a, a notification will pop up within the app and on your phone if you've set that. The menu badge um, will, 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 if there's a, a dot or not on the bottom. And ignore will just not send you notifications about that particular one. So you can get one when loan the loan is close to expiring. When it has expired, say that your loan period has ended. When a hold is ready, when a hold is um, about to say that, oh, we told you that your item is ready, but you haven't picked it up yet. Um, it's gonna expire soon. That's, that's what hold lapse. Um, and then hold lapsing means, and then hold lapse, hold lapsed is when it has expired. And then there's other settings. If you scroll down more, you can no get notifications about a particular author. If they have a new book coming out or something, um, I say, oh, Stephen King has a new book. Um, that's another type of notification that you can get. And um, changing the download rules. We talked a little bit about download before. You can decide what items you would 
like to be automatically downloaded to your device. Uh, this We talked about this before, but it comes in handy when you're not going to be um, connected to the internet on your device. Oops. Um, you can choose whether you want to see that bottom notification, uh, the, the bottom navigation bar. That's the bar that has the, the building icon and the, the list, the bookshelf. You can choose whether you want that to be always visible, hidden while you're scrolling, or only visible on the shelf section of the app. And you can also choose whether you'd like to have, there's, there's on the one that I showed, it had labels on it. You can choose whether you want to not have labels on. I don't know why you want to not have labels, but you can choose that as well in there. Or if it doesn't have labels, that's how you would add labels. Okay, any questions about the settings? Um, you tap on the, uh, the blue, let me go back to where it is. Hmm? That, um, yeah, that will bring up, that the one with the lines will bring up this screen right here. Any other uh, questions? Okay. Uh, Libby is an app that is available on Apple devices with iOS 10 and higher and Android devices with version five and higher. If you have a Windows computer, a Mac computer, a Kindle Fire or a Chromebook, you can use Libby in your web browser at libbyapp.com. We suggest that you use the latest version of Chrome, Safari, Firefox or Edge. Edge uh, is the the, new, the replacement for Internet Explorer on Windows uh, devices. Another way to access digital content, including eBooks, audiobooks, videos, which include movies and um, TV shows and magazines is through Hoopla, which is available to East Greenbush and Skodak residents. Um, if you wanna learn more about Hoopla, we will actually be having a class about that on May 9th at 6 p.m. And you can also visit our website to learn more about Hoopla. There's a lot of like, popular movies on there, blockbusters and things. So if, if you want to learn more about that app, it's a really neat app. Um, we're having a class on it. No, it's it's movies, movies, TV shows, magazines, books, audio books, music. Yeah, there's a lot of popular music, like new music that just was like Taylor Swift's new album was on there and all sorts of great stuff. And and the the big difference between Libby and Hoopla is that there's no holds, like everything is always available. You don't have to place an item on holds. If you see it there, you can just tap on it and read or listen to it, right? It's not, you don't have to do the, the hold in the same way, so. Yes, yeah, you get five, you get five checkouts in a month. Is that, and then at the end, the, the, yeah, it's, it's really, it's, it's a great service. And then at the the beginning of the next month, your your number of checkouts will go back to five. So if you if you checked out five, just wait till the end of that month, and you can check out five more things. All right, any questions? Uh, we're all set. Thank you everybody for joining us. This presentation will be available shortly on our YouTube channel, and we'll put up some basic how tos as well um, that go over the the certain sections of the presentation. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for those online as well.